What's up guys, it's me Jamar from Remnant Outdoors. Hope you're doing great today. What I wanted to talk about is the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6 by 24 BDC 3 rifle scope. This is one of the best scopes out there. This is something that is flexible, it's rugged, it looks sexy. This is great for hunting, especially if you're a stock hunter like myself. It's great for plinking, just general range use. This is really good for home defense. I'll tell you why in a second. It's really good for competition. There's a lot of other guys at the top level using this exact rifle scope. If you want something for a great value, something dollar for dollar is a heavyweight in the field. Look no further. I'm gonna try to convince you that this is the thing you need to get. Let's get to the review. So right off the bat, the thing that actually drew me to this particular scope has been the BDC3 reticle. This reticle is what I call the best of most worlds. It has basically a two-thirds EOTech-like circle dot in the center, so really good for close quarters, quick target acquisition. Anything that gets into that zone of the circle, you can go ahead and send it. It is great. The illumination is really, really good as far as daylight brightness. Um, but this is a really useful reticle at 1x, very similar to a red dot or a EOTech-like sight. There's a lot of people that are kind of emulating that circle dot. In addition to that, when you push the scope out a little further to address farther targets and you magnify it and you use your little zoom lever uh, to go to 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, or 6x, the reticle has bullet drop compensation that is beautiful. So from 300 yards to 400 yards to 500 yards to 600 plus yards, it has demarcations etched onto the reticle. Uh, in addition to that, it has windage holdovers for five, 10 and 15 yards at each of those demarcations. That's not something that you're gonna see a lot. You see some scopes out there, a lot of the cheaper scopes that have all these little things around here, but they don't really mean anything. These are actually at the subtensions designed and calibrated for uh, the standard AR-15 round of uh, 55 grain. In addition to that, if that wasn't good enough, at the very top of the viewing plane of the scope, you have like a range finder, so to speak, uh, for 300, 400, 500 and 600 yards, you basically gauge how far a target is based off the sizing in between that ranging window. The reticle alone makes the scope worth the money by itself, not to mention all the other intricacies that we're gonna cover in a second and the specifics that make this an amazing deal. But the reticle simply cannot be beat. Let's talk about construction. Any Vortex product, when you pick it up, you know you're holding a quality product. Everything looks really clean and quality with the black matte anodized finish. It is tough due to the Armatec coating. It's shockproof, it's waterproof, it is fog proof. Obviously it's purged with nitrogen and it's cut from a solid block of high grade aluminum, making this 10 inch scope relatively light at 17.6 ounces. And remember, Vortex has one of the best warranties in the entire industry, a no questions asked, lifetime return policy. If they cannot fix it, they will replace it. Next, let's talk about the turrets and dials. So the Strike Eagle has cap turrets similar to other Vortex scopes. You might have seen my Crossfire 2 4 by 12 by 50 review that had cap turrets. Some people don't like cap turrets, but I think they're good because it prevents your uh, windage and elevation from getting bumped off from where you have it because it's protected by the cap turrets. Uh, there's nothing really special about the windage and elevation turrets, but you can definitely tell that it's quality. When you rotate these dials, it has a crisp and audible click to it. Uh, the windage and elevation have a max travel of 140 MOA, and uh, everything is set obviously to 100 yards, whether it's parallax or the max MOA travel. Not to mention, the adjustments are in half MOA increments. Uh, the illumination turret is pretty stiff, just like most products you get from Vortex, but I think that's a good thing. When you get to one, two, three, it has 11 levels of illumination. Well, if you go to those things, you could definitely feel it. The cool thing about the illumination dial is that if you're in between, say, nine and 10, for example, it will be in an off state. So that's pretty useful if you're using your gun for self-defense. You can keep it in between, say, you know, eight and nine or whatever works for you in your situation in an off state where the battery's not being used. 
if you need to grab your rifle, boom, you just click at one and you're right at the illuminates you need instead of having it at zero and having to click all the way up to nine or whatever you need. You could just have it in between settings in an off position. I think that's pretty cool. Lastly, the zoom dial is rather stiff. It's much stiffer than the Crossfire 2 scope that I've reviewed before. Uh, if you need lightning fast zoom changes for competitions, the stiffness probably will knock you down and slow you down by a few tenths, but really you could solve this problem by just not zooming in using the dial. You could just use the demarcations etched onto the reticle. Okay, we gotta talk about glass and eye relief next. At this price point, the Strike Eagle is as good as it gets in terms of glass. Uh, I've looked through several low power variable optics. Uh, this one is clear. Uh, it's not as clear as a Razer HD Gen 3, but it is pretty darn clear. So when I'm looking through this reticle, uh, when I'm looking at a target, for the most part, the colors are very, very true. There's a little bit of chromatic aberration. There, there's a little bit of, of blurring at the edges. But if I didn't tell you that, and you didn't hear all these other guys on YouTube talking about that, it's not something that you would particularly notice, particularly if you're in the field or in a competition or in a home defense situation. At 1X, there is a little bit of a fisheye effect, which you see in almost every scope especially at these price points, but it really isn't one of those things that is a deterrent. It's not gonna distract you a whole lot. Another thing about that 1X, it's not a super true 1X. It is more of a 1.25X perhaps, but it's so close to it and it's so pure, uh, it's not something that's gonna get in your way. Eye relief is pretty decent. Due to the construction of low power variable optics, it's really challenging to eke out significant variance in relief. Uh, but with that said, the Strike Eagle does a good enough job of producing a manageable eye box. Closing thoughts. So this to me is one of the best scopes you can get for the money. It's one of the best bangs for the buck out there. You guys know I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on things based off of marketability but this thing delivers i would say it over delivers particularly with its reticle the reticle is a home run they hit more than just that they hit a grand slam with this reticle i think it is better in my opinion than the vortex razor hd gen 3's reticle it's more useful it's not very busy the previous generation reticle uh they call it the ar uh, BDC reticle um, that wasn't that useful because it had a whole lot of information just a lot of horizontal hash marks but no true dot right there in the center so it's really hard to see where you're at because the lines were so close together if you're just entering in the world of LPVOs this is a great starting point you could dip your toe in a little bit lower and get you a crossfire 2 by vortex and pay 200 bucks or you can get something just a little bit more clearer, something that has a better reticle, something that's a little bit more useful for hunting, plinking, HD, all that kind of stuff, and get this Strike Eagle, and you're gonna be able to use it for years to come, especially if you wanna get into competitions. My advice is, if you could pay the price point that they're asking for, get this, you're not gonna be disappointed, you're gonna be able to use this for many years to come, you're gonna be use it for a variety of applications, and it's probably going to be your most favorite rifle scope that you own. That's all I got to say. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10 just because it's really hard to say something is a 10 out of 10 or the 300 to 400 dollars that you're going to find this at. There's nothing in that category that can touch it, mostly because of the reticle, because of the warranty, because of the quality of materials, because of the usefulness of all the things working together. It's not too heavy. It's not too packed with features you don't need. It's just right. You don't mind. They don't need a new coming down. Leo, 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 we you buzz, we you buzz, we you buzz, we you buzz. Hey, in the sky, switch it time zone.